wanted to work through a problem that involves uh, radiation pressure. This is the force or the force per square meter that electromagnetic waves such as sunlight exert when they are absorbed by something or when they are reflected by something. In this case, we're thinking about uh, the upper atmosphere and we're thinking about sunlight being reflected and absorbed by the ap upper atmosphere and, and the resulting radiation pressure. So in the problem, we're told firstly that the Earth's atmosphere reflects about 38% of the incident sunlight and absorbs the remainder about 62% of the incident sunlight. So here in Magenta is the sunlight striking the Earth's atmosphere. And I'm just trying to picture 38% of it being reflected and heading back into outer space, 62% of it being absorbed and, and warming the Earth. When light is, or electromagnetic waves are absorbed, the radiation pressure when you absorb, so A is the subscript for absorbed, the radiation pressure is related to the intensity of the incident light by this little equation here. It's just the intensity divided by the speed of light. So that's absorption. When light is reflected, then the reflected radiation pressure, the R means reflected here, is equal to this little equation involving the intensity. It's twice the intensity divided by the speed of light. So this is reflection. And so for a given intensity, the radiation pressure when you have reflection is about twice the radiation pressure uh, that you have when you have absorption of the light. In this case, we've got both. We've got both reflection and we've got um, absorption. So what's the, what's the total radiation pressure in our particular case? Well, it's going to be a combination of these two radiation pressures from these two processes involving the absorption and reflection. Um, it's going to be 38% or 0.38 of the radiation pressure provided by the absorbed sunlight uh, plus 62%, percent 62 of the radiation pressure due to the reflected sunlight. And then I can fill in the equations for the radiation pressure of the absorbed and radiation pressure of the reflected sunlight in, in terms of the intensities. When I do that, I'm gonna pull some common factors out. And what I'm gonna end up with is the following, where the common factor that I pulled out was the intensity and the division by the speed of light. So here's the 62% coming from the absorbed light. And here's the 32%, 38% coming from the reflected light. And this factor of two is this factor of two difference between reflection and absorption. At that point, I can start plugging in some numbers. So this factor in parentheses here, if you work that out, that's 1.38. And then we've got to multiply that by the intensity of the sunlight. That's um, 1.37 kilowatts per square meter. And we've got to divide that by the speed of light, three times 10 to the eight meters per second. And if we go ahead and calculate this radiation pressure, it comes out to be a tiny number because we're dividing by the speed of light comes out to be about 6.3 times 10 to the minus six newtons per meter squared. So it's a force per square meter, it's a pressure. 
if you want a reference for this, compare this to you not know, radiation pressure, but atmospheric pressure. I'll call that P naught. Atmospheric, atmospheric pressure at sea level is a big number in newtons per square meter. It's one times about one times ten to the five newtons per square meter. So sunlight's obviously important. It um, keeps us warm, grows our food, and so on and so forth. Uh, but the radiation pressure from sunlight is much, much smaller than the atmospheric pressure uh, of the uh, Earth's atmosphere. Anyway, I just wanted to have worked through an example of radiation pressure. Remember, it's the force exerted by sunlight or other electromagnetic waves, force per square meter. Uh, and that force per square meter exerted by sunlight or electromagnet, other electromagnetic waves, it can be related to the intensity of the light. It's in proportion to the intensity of the light. And we looked at the proportionality for absorption of sunlight and also reflection of sunlight.